Hello world, it's Dan, and today I'm recording my first unboxing video. Uh, I've never recorded an unboxing video before, but I'm kind of excited about this one. It is, if it is what I think it is, I have a few orders coming in. This should be all stickerless puzzles I've ordered at the recommendation of a few folks on speed solving. Uh, a handful of stickerless puzzles because I really like stickerless puzzles. I just have a hard time finding ones in the shades that I like. But, here we go. Let's get into this thing. So what have we here? We have the square one and the skew. These are both the chi versions. So chi skew, chi square one. We have a one you shall stickerless. This should be the Cyclone Boys G4, which I've heard great things about, and I am anxious to test. Here we have the Yushin Pyraminx. This would be the X-Men Tornado. Lastly, Diane stickerless Mega Minx with ridges. Alright. I haven't solved a Mega Minx in a long time. I haven't solved a Square One in a long time. I haven't solved a Skube in a long time. I'm not even sure if I remember how to solve a couple of those. But let's uh, let's just do these in order. I'm, I really want to check out this Cyclone Boys G4, so let's get into that. Alright. Well, I already love the shades. Uh, but that is typical. I, I'm a big fan of Cyclone Boys shades. These look really great. Yeah, 4x4 four four Dan. So, pretty good contrast. Not too bright, not that kind of candy color thing that Moyu does. Let's do some turnings. Okay, well. Feels like it's a little loose for me. That might be my problem here. It's really catchy. Maybe I just need to get used to it or adjust my turning style a bit. It does feel very loose. Here's my my you. That's well broken in and lubed and restickered, and it's going to take a lot to take its place. But if I can find a good stickerless to do that, that would be great. It's very smooth, just it's catching a little bit on me, and I wonder if that's the tensions. I'll need to do some, some solves and break it in. Middle layers are a little catchy too. What if we cut? Cuts reasonably well. Hm, good. Let's try. 
try... well... I'm curious to see how this looks. This is the Guoguan Yu Shao. If I have the stickered version here, I quite like it. It's a little catchy, but I've adjusted my turning style and I'm getting used to it. Okay, well, it's kind of looby and dirty here. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of that orange, but it has good contrast with the red. Uh, white and yellow are fine. Again, I don't really like the green. So the green and the orange I'm not a big fan of, but they have pretty good contrast, so... I'm not sure. Feels very good. Oh, feels really good. Well, that has definite potential. That feels that feels better than my stickered one. Great. Okay. This is the X-Men Tornado. I've never tried this puzzle, stickered or unstickered. And another one I've heard great things about, so I am anxious to see how this puzzle feels. Yeah. Whatever. So shades are actually very similar. The blue is darker here, but the orange looks the same. Yellow is a little brighter on the tornado. Red is a little darker on the uh, Yu Shao. Greens are similar, a little darker on the tornado. Alright. This is really luby. I'm going to have to wipe this down. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Alright, skip some things. Pretty good. Super loose for me. I might have to tighten this up a bit. It feels great, actually. I'm not sure which one I like better right now. Um, well, let's just sort this out and do a quick solve. Green. I say quick subjectively. Feels really good. I like that. Stickers, shades, I didn't have any problems with recognition there, so that was encouraging. Alright. Paraminx. Now, I am terrible at Paraminx. I haven't solved one in a long time. I'm anything but a speed solver. I don't know any real algorithms for it. Maybe this will encourage me to get better at it. Colors are very nice. I wish the green was maybe a little, a little darker, a little brighter. But the uh, the blue, yellow, and red look fantastic. Feels pretty good, I guess. I don't have a lot to compare it to. I, I have a, a Shangshao Paraminx, and I have a Moyu one as well, but I've never really done anything with it. All right. Well, not sure what else to say about that. It looks great. It's very pretty. Feels nice. So uh, I'll just have to do some practice and get better at Pyraminx. Let's open this bad boy up. Skewb. Maybe. It's really in there. Oh. 
comes the little uh, Allen key. I suppose it has, rather than a regular Phillips screw, it's got a, an Allen wrench for disassembling. I've never taken a skew apart, so I don't know if that's typical or not. Again, colors look very nice. I think they're the same shades that uh, that we've got on the the tornado here. Yeah, looks pretty much the same as that. So all these Chi stickerless puzzles seem to use the same color scheme, same shades. Uh, Skube, again, a puzzle that I haven't solved in a very long time. Honestly, I, I don't even really remember it. I would have to, I would have to play around with this a while before I figured it out. I'd have to just brute force it with commutators and stuff. Feels very good though. It feels much better than my other one. I have a, a Landland, -Lan, old Landland -Lan cube that feels terrible, and it has a black face instead of a white. So this feels much nicer. This will actually. I'm encouraged to uh, to practice and get better at cube, or I guess get good at it at all. Very nice. That aside. Square one, another puzzle that honestly I, I barely even really remember how to solve, but my square one that I have is absolutely terrible. So hopefully this moves nicer and encourages me to practice and get better at square one as well. Again, same color scheme as all of the other uh, GE stickless puzzles that I've got here. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh yeah, okay. This is not even comparable to my square one. <laughs> you can't do this on my other puzzle. I have a terrible square one. Oh, this is great. This is great. So I am going to go back to the drawing board and relearn how to solve a square one and maybe I'll, uh, I'll start including this in the weekly comp. Very nice. I don't really need to touch on the on the colors again. They're they're all the same here. All right. This is the Diane Mega Minx with ridges. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the pink. Oh, we've got a, a bad cap here. That's fine. Just popped out a little bit. Um, yeah, pink. Not a big fan, but I mean, whatever. What do you do when you've got to cover this many sides with unique colors? Um, it's pretty stiff, but it feels like it doesn't really have any lube in it. Yeah, it's pretty dry. I may have to lube this. These ridges feel strange. So I think it definitely needs some lube and some breaking in. Uh, my only other Mega Minx that I have is I have a, I have a Sheng Shao Mega Minx that's not bad. Um, and I bought the, the, I think it's called the Yoohoo, I don't remember. It's absolutely terrible. I, I played with it for maybe five minutes and then just shelved it. I didn't enjoy it at all. This feels much nicer than that one, but it definitely needs to be broken in and lubed a little bit. Um, I'm not going to try and scramble it up and solve it as I would take 20 minutes. It's been so long since I've done a Mega Minx solve. But again, hopefully this will encourage me to, to practice more and get better so that I can add Mega Minx and Pyraminx and Square One and Skub to my weekly comp results. So I can't help but notice that I left a couple of 4x4s messed up here, so I might as well, before I close out this video, solve these just because. So this is the new, the new Cyclone Boys G4. Don't 
don't expect me to set any records here. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's just my turning style or, or what, but... catching on my, mid on my middle turns. Oops. Well, that felt pretty good. I, I really need to, I think, adjust some tensions, break it in, and maybe maybe adjust my turning style a little bit. But it feels like it has potential. It's, like I said, I really, really like my... my my Moyu Aosu, it's been broken in a lot, it's really nicely set up, but if I can migrate to a stickerless 4x4, I would like to do that. So, that's that, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of all my new stickerless puzzles, and I may follow up later with, with some follow-up thoughts after I've had a chance to play with them all a little bit more. So again, I apologize if this video has been a little bit rambling on, uh, it's the first time I've done an unboxing video, so if you liked it, great. If not, don't be mean. Just let me know in the comments what I could do to improve. Take it easy.